Hello. I'm at a different angle. I don't know why, but I am. Oh, here he comes. Come on then. Come on, quick. He's he's started to sleep in a different place. He now sleeps on the stairs to the loft. He started to sleep on there and it's only a really thin step and he keeps falling off it but it doesn't put him off. I've made him all sorts of lovely beds around the loft, uh, around the step but no he is very keen on the on that step aren't you for some reason. Anyway let's get started. My name's Paula and this is the Stitched by Mrs D. Uh, wh why are you wet? Stitched by Mrs D podcast. Um, I need to tell you something. So last time I filmed, I started by saying I've got Uncle Simon down the trousers. I've got Uncle Simon here again, but I need to tell you who it is. It's nothing weird. Uncle Simon is my lovely old hot water bottle. I haven't had him since I was a baby. I've only had him a few years, but he was in a... He feels wet, actually. But I don't do this bit. He's got new guts actually. I've had to steal James's hot water bottle and put it in the middle because he he had a burst the other day. He's had quite a few a few different bellies. Yeah, I got him a couple of years ago and he had eyes. I've given him different sets of eyes and they just keep falling out. So yeah, he's my little my little friend, Uncle Simon. So Uncle Simon, when I said he was down my trousers, I was just talking about my hot water bottle. I've got a nice cup of tea. Let's have a bit, dog, shall we? It's probably still a bit too hot. This is one of my favourite mugs. It's got the crown jewels on it. James bought it for me for um, I think it was for my birthday, my 40th birthday a few years ago. Oh, lovely. Oh, I can see something I'm going to need that's too far away. Oh. So today's Saturday. don't know what the date is, but it talks of snow over the next couple of days and I can see snow in the sky. Do you know what I mean by that? It looks snowy. It's been raining a lot today. Do you like Uncle Simon as well? It's nice isn't it? Now I've got you as well. I had something completely different on. Well I had this yellow cardigan on a minute ago which is my floozy but it made me look an awful colour. It, didn't, it made me look poorly so I've had to take it off. Oh, it doesn't look too bad now. I did put some foundation on my face as well, that helped. <laughs> so what I've done today is I've just made a massive pile on this side. It is a massive pile as well. I might even show you actually. I hope I'll get it back in the same position. Oh, I can't do it, can I? Never mind. I've made a massive pile. So when I've talked about things, I'm just going to move them over here. And when there's nothing... This is wrong, isn't it? When there's nothing left, I'll, um, it's over. But what I'm going to do today, I've got some finished things. I've got a couple of things that I want to get finished. And then I, I'm going to show you, because you know I said that I stockpile over the months from September till, well, till now really. Um, I'm just going to show you what I've got in stock because I've now got enough in stock to last me a long time. So I'm just going to show you what I'm, I've got in stock. I love seeing other people's stuff. So, Oh, a lovely cup of tea. I hope you're all okay. I am. Well, I've got a little bit of a fuzzy head today. I, I think that if I sleep for too long, it doesn't do me much good. And I had a good old lie in this morning. I didn't get up till 11. Then I had a bath. Then I did some knitting. It was rather lovely. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, and I'm also going to show you a few things that I've got to go in my shop. And then I'm going to show you my Winter Teddy Bear Club video that I made before I sent them all out. And then at the end, I'm going to put in a video of me trying to jump over a massive puddle. Just because... Right, so let's start with stuff I have finished. So I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but if you do, you would have seen this lovely jumper on there yesterday. What's that? Oh, I thought it was a pluck, but it's not. It smells nice because I had perfume on yesterday. This is called Rosa, and it's from this book here by Susan Crawford. 
called Evolution. And I bought this pattern collection because I knew I really wanted to knit this. So here we are, here's Susan wearing it. Um, I've made mine out of Drops Charisma. And these two rows of flowers, are, well, in the pattern, they are two different colours. And also this blue line here, that has a mixture of two colours, but I only used one. Shall I put it on and show you? Excuse me, Doug. Can you hear him purring? Oh, isn't it lovely? I love that noise. Right, Doug, I'm just going to put this on. I'm not going to keep it on, though, because it is a, it's the warmest jumper. I've got <laughs> you beautiful boy. Oh, I just bang my nearly swore then. Right, here you go. What do you think? Isn't it lovely? I absolutely love it. Now, before I made it, I couldn't decide if I wanted to make the size three or the size four, but I went for the size four. And I'm glad I did, because what I did was I measured around here because it's supposed to have you know a little bit of bagginess about it and I nearly went for the size three but then I slipped the tape measure down oh he's gone he's gone to get some food I expect he'll be back because I wanted to see how it would fit me down here and if I'd have gone for the size three this wouldn't have been very I don't know I think it would have been a bit tight and I don't like a tight jumper around the bottom because when you lean over and do stuff, it can ride up. It's lovely. I got in a muddle. There's a row of decreases in this colour bit. And I think it was all my own fault. I, I think I took the pattern too literally. I should have concentrated because I was so excited to get it done. And then I was also worried when I got to this bit because that there's some decreases to get the neckline to the right size and after I'd knitted and cast off it looked like it gathered up all my lovely flat colour work but um, it was fine once I blocked it all the blocking was an operation and a half so um, it's hard to find somewhere in this house to block things because there's people everywhere and there's no space and the cats lie on things so I had to put it on an old cotton mat that I had on the table in the night and in the daytime because we're all still working and schooling from home at the moment I had to carry the mat up and put it on my bed and shut the, fl shut the door so I had about three or four days of that routine but it didn't take I was expecting it to take quite a long time but it take a, a, a few days to block I've made a really, really nice cup of tea. Very nice indeed. Um, I loved making this and it seemed, I think I did make it quite quickly because I just couldn't wait to get to this bit here. And because it's knit from the bottom up, you have to do all, you know, knit everything, including the sleeves before you can get to the good bit. And I think that really helped me like get going <laughs> with it. But I'm really, really pleased. I might as well talk to you about what I think I might make next out of this book. I'll show it to you now. Of course, I'm just using all the stuff I've got in stock now. So yeah, I think I'm going to make this one next. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's like got a lacy yoke at the top. I don't think there's a better picture of it. There's a DK version and a four ply and I'm just, here we are. So this is the four ply version so I'm going to make that but in DK. I love it. I don't know if this is from the top from the bottom up as well. Yes it is so that will help me get that done nice and quick as well. Not that it's a race. So what I'm going to make that out of is this I, I i bought this um with my birthday money do you remember i showed it to you over vlogmas and i bought it whilst i was wearing my coat which is exactly the same color exactly the same color as this 
I was worried I looked like one of those people who just like one colour. So I bought that. So I, I was going to make a Whitmore, another Whitmore, but I think I want to use it to make that. So there we are. So that's one. Oh no, I'm putting things on this side. So I've shown you this. So this is one of the things I've got in stock. I've got enough to make two jumpers. So this is to he's back. Doug, I don't know how you know to stand there. Look, keep going. So this is the stuff for one jumper. So I'll put that there. Oh, I'm in a muddle. Well, I'm going to, have to take this off because I am quite warm. With Uncle Simon here as well. And Doug. Hello, Doug. Are you going to come back? So that's my first thing. I was really pleased with my colour work. It's all lovely and flat. You see, really pleased with it because I'm. I don't. I usually don't think I'm very good at colour work, but I'm pleased with how that that came out. I love it. Yeah, and my friend Kathy with a C asked me if I'm going to have my Laura Ashley photo shoot with it on, and yeah, I will. As soon as I can find a rambling rose down down a wall. <laughs> it's your. Oh, what was that in your mouth, Doug? He's so nice. Yeah, I will lean against it and I'll get someone to take some pictures of me. Oh, all my buttons undone. No. Shall we have another bit of this lovely tea? Oh, it's running out too quick. Because so one thing finished and one thing I've got planned. I just feel like clearing the decks at the moment. I've got quite a few things on the go. I just want to get them done. So I did get another thing done. These are my Red Robin socks, which I was making over Christmas. I cast these on on my birthday. I put them on my hands because I can't bother to get my sock buckers. And these are made with burrow and saw and they, this was a mystery kit that I bought. And I think the colour was called Bobbing Along. So I finished these. I think I finished these last night actually. And I love them. I just love the colour. I think these, the colour and the stitches go together really well. These are called the Red Robin Socks by Curious Handmade. These were part of the Handmade Sock Society from a few years ago. I love them. I might put them on tonight after I've had a bath. Oh, What I like about this is that all the red bits that are in it, they're all over the place, can you see? There's no pooling at all. Oh, he's itching his chin now. Dog, we're on the telly. Stop doing that. You see how lovely they are. I quite enjoyed making these. I thought I was over socks, but I'm not. I don't think I am, because I've been finishing another pair of socks as well. So they're done. I love them. In fact, I'm going to put them on the heater in a little while so I can wear them tonight. Right, shall we see what else I've got? Isn't it exciting? Right. I don't know where to start, actually. Right, okay. We'll go here now. So, this is my basket of James's socks in progress. So, when drops have a... Oh, I thought so Uncle Simon was leaking again. When Drops Fable have sale on Wool Warehouse, I bulk buy. I know I've told you this before. And then I w just work my through my way through it. And then when um, I run out, I buy a little bit more. But I went off knitting him socks. I'd normally have all this done, but I got a bit selfish. So I think I've made... Yeah, this is the third pair that I'm making now. But I've got this left. So this is in my stock as well. So this, I've got to work my way through this before I, I need any more stuff for James. But I've got a few things down here I'm going to put in this basket as well. So these have been on the needles for a few, well, a few months really. Uh, and last night I did both the heels and I hope to get them finished this weekend. I've really enjoyed them. What was I watching last night? 
oh yeah it's called back i don't know if anyone else has watched it i've always I, I haven't watched it because i used to really like the um, peep show and the two people from peep show have made a new program called back and i what i downloaded the first two episodes and i laughed so much that my mascara came off and i laughed so much have you ever laughed so much that it turns into hysterical sobbing like and you're that close to it being crying instead well that's and it wasn't i was laughing about stupid things as well it were, i don't think anyone else would laugh and james was asleep next to me like this i've started videoing him when he's asleep <laughs> he does know mm. once in bed i was recording him snoring because he said he insists he doesn't snore so i thought oh, i'm gonna record him so i was videoing him like this and I dropped the phone on his face. It's quite a good video. I don't think I'll put it on here though, because he'd be angry. He won't be angry, but he'll be embarrassed. Yeah, so these I hope to get finished this weekend. And I'm really, really, really enjoying them. Where's he going now? He makes me nervous when he walks about, because I worry he's gonna sit on something important. Oh, he's going up the window again. He loves looking out the window. I think he's got a girlfriend. Have I told you about the random cat that keeps coming in our house? I don't know if I told you about it last time, but we've got a cat who keeps coming in and he does spray. So we're not that happy about it. But the girl cats keep screaming at him every time he he comes in. And apparently he's been in Lizzie's bed and one on Lizzie's bed and one night he was even stroked by Meg on her bed. I'd let him stay, but he does wear a collar and he does spray, so maybe he's not so welcome after all. We don't feed him, but he probably does eat the, our cat's food. He only comes in at night as well, but I know who it is. I to find out his name. Anyway, yeah, so these are James' socks. I really like making these at the moment. I think it's just because it's because I've been concentrating so much on this oh james said when i was making this i was making funny noises because i was counting the stitches with the colors he kept i'd be doing it and then he'd i'd look and he'd be staring at me like this i said oh sorry am i doing it again and apparently i was so that is some stock and some work in progress but i hope to get that done this weekend oh do you want my basket this is one of my old ones that i made I put in my Etsy shop and kept for myself. I like it. I've always got a basket around me. Right, what else? Oh, shall I show you what I've been buying? So I have decided that I am going to collect minis. This is my mini box. It's usually my box that I keep. Oh, it has got some stock in it as well for my shop but i'll show you that in a minute i hope dog doesn't sit on that right so yep yeah, i'm collecting minis because i want to make a blanket but i didn't start the blanket because i think once i do everything else i won't care about so i'm going to clear the decks and then i think i'm going to start a battenberg blanket right so here's one of my first purchases I warn you, you need to hold on to your eyes because I think they'll pop out of your head. So these are from Wild Rose Yarns and they are 10, 10, no, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 15, 10 gram minis. <gasps> oh, look at those. Yes, I'm only buying minis at the moment because I've got none. Apart from the ones I've already got. <laughs> I haven't got very many. I haven't got enough to make a blanket. And I'm going to keep collecting them until I've got enough. Oh, aren't they pretty? Whenever I get things like this, I always like to pick my favourite. I think that's my favourite. I could eat them. I could. 
when I was little I probably would have tried them. Once I grated up a bar of soap <laughs> and sniffed it because I didn't want to go to school and I want my mum to think I'd had a really bad cold and I put talc on my face. Anyway, yeah, so look at those. Which one's your favourite? I could eat them. I think it's because they look like flumps. Do you know what you know, flumps are, don't you? So, yeah, I've got those. And then when I was on Etsy, it, I had a like recommended shop come up that I hadn't heard of before. And it was this Folkestone Harbour Yarn. And these are called the Votes for Women Mini Skein Set. There's eight. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, eight. Look, do you like them? They're in the same colour as the little badge that the suffra and uh the sash that suffragettes used to wear. Aren't they beautiful? I think they're gonna I, I don't know whether to keep them separate. Well I'll keep them in this because there was a picture with the listing on Etsy of a pair of socks that someone had made with these and I'm quite tempted by those they're pretty aren't they yeah I'd never heard of that yarn dryer before but I've followed them now on Instagram I can have another bit of this good tea before it goes cold oh lovely um, and then I wasn't going to buy any four big skeins but then I saw this and I just couldn't resist it because these are my colours. So it's from Pixie Yarn and it's called Betty. And I, can't, I don't know about you, but I can't resist this. Look at it. Those are my favourite colours. I've always liked these colours, but I think it's because I like Monet. And these are the sort of, well, not all of his paintings are these sorts of colours, but. I was going to say my favourites are, but are they? No, one of my favourites of his is one of a load of turkeys, and that's not these colours at all. You should look that up, it's a lovely picture. Just Google Monet turkeys. Yeah, so I, I couldn't resist that, so. I can put that in my stockpile, so that can go there. I'll package that away. Yeah, so these are, I'm going to decant these lovely pink minis now into my mini collection. We'll shake them up, be ready to see them. There are um, my Ducky Darlings minis are in here as well that I got. Oh, oh they're so nice. Oh. So I'm going to make a Battenberg blanket, but I think instead of having white um, squares, I want a very, very pale beige instead. So what I'm going to do, when I'm ready, I've got a few blankets I'm going to show you in a minute, I need to clear the decks. So what I'm going to do is just like think, oh, it's a little bit of uh, yellow today, then I'll unravel it and then wind it into a ball and then just crochet the whole thing up into the squares and I think I'm going to have the best time ever doing that Can any of you get your head round like why people wouldn't want to knit or crochet because I quite often like, offer to, to teach James how to do it and he always refuses and I just think you don't know what you're missing out on James I know he'd like it once he got going. So, oh, I could even close my eyes, couldn't I? And pick one. Oh, yes. Yeah, I might do that actually. So, yeah, I'm just collecting minis. I want a lot of them. I quite like to fill this box up actually, and then I'll make a lovely baton bow. I've just seen that um, Wild Rose Yarns have just listed a really nice rainbow set. I'm quite tempted by them. Yeah, so this will be my only indulgence for a little while, minis. Shall I just mix these in and see how we get... Oh, 
No, I think I want them for socks. No, I'm going to keep those separate, so they're going to go into my stock. There you go. My stock of my own personal wall shop. Where's the lid? Oh, here it is. Right. Oh, I'm ever so excited. So, I'm going to show you some other things now that I've got in the pile. So, this is one of the blankets that I need that I want to get finished. So do you remember I was going to, I still haven't decorated my bedroom, but I'm going to do all these colours. Ooh, it's some nice cotton in here as well. This would be from the um, cushions that I made. Oh, how lovely. Isn't it nice? It's like treasure, isn't it? Look at those. Ooh, what else have we got? Oh, sweet wrappers. Crochet hooks. These are my, I don't know if I told you, these are my favourite crochet hooks. I've tried all sorts. These ones. Ooh, my sunglasses are in here as well. Yeah, because the last time I did anything on these, it was the summer. I'll put those there, I don't want to lose them. I need them in a couple of weeks, I expect. Quite some good stuff in here. Yeah, these are my favourite. Oh, I've tried this one as well. I don't know what make this one is. I wasn't keen. My favourite are just the normal ones. Rachel from So Ray Me sells these exact ones in her shop at the moment. Rose gold ones. And I do like the rose gold ones the best, actually. I bought a set from a shop before. Um, what's this? Oh, that's a sweet little knitting needle, isn't it? Anyway, so I'm making a square to put at the end of my bed once it's decorated but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to also need to do the hall as well I'm going to decorate my bedroom and the hall when and if the children go back to school what's that little knitting needle yeah so that's one of the things that I'd like to get finished before starting a new blanket probably think surely you haven't got any more blankets on the go but yes I have so this is another one so when I finish James's socks I am gonna finish this this is my I've got another one of those lovely rose gold hooks in here my nature's walk blanket and it's so nearly finished so I've just got to get it done um, what, I've been, what I'm gonna do to finish it off is just to do so these are the stars so I'm going to finish doing the stars and then I'll finish doing the next pattern because I think the more you do something the quicker you get at doing it I do enjoy it when I am doing it I'm making that out of um, Stylecraft Bellissima I'm doing the whole thing in cream so hopefully next time this will be done the pile is getting smaller so the other thing I've got uh, is my temperature blanket. I'll show you that. Come on. Now last time I called this my 2019 blanket but it's not, it's my 2020 one. And this one hasn't got that much to go on it either. It's quite big. So I just need to finish this off as well. I stopped because I ran out of one of the colours but of now I ordered some the other day to finish it so that's another thing that I need to do this won't take long either it's a square a day a uh, square for the day and the middle is the minimum temperature of the day and the outside is whatever the maximum temperature was for the day and I think white is the coldest and the hottest is a this pink here that brighter pink yeah so I just need to get that done and I think this will be lovely once it's edged it'll look nice in here actually oh I love, I love a blanket I love a blanket so that's three blankets that I would like to get finished before I can before I start the Battenberg quite a little bit of a headache Doug what are you looking at 
Oh, I want a prize. So this is going into my stock as well. So one of the ladies who I um, know from like one of the Zoom chats I go on entered me into a giveaway for this company here called Fankel Yarns. I hope that's how you say it. I didn't realise I've got patterns with it as well. Yeah, Fankel Yarns, here you go. They're on Instagram and I hadn't heard of them. I believe it's actually like a proper shop, bricks and mortar, but obviously they're not open at the moment. Yeah, so I won. And the lady contacted me and she said, well, what would you like? I said, just send me a surprise. I am grateful for anything. It was such a lovely thing to win. So she sent me this one, which is opal. I just got to cast it on instantly. Isn't it pretty? I've never knit with opal before. I've got opal and I'll show you the other ones I've got in a minute. So, isn't it nice? Yeah, and I also got, I didn't realise this, I just thought it was some leaflets, but I've got some patterns as well. How oh, lovely. Yes, yeah, so thank you very much for the prize and to Ali for entering me. Oh, lovely. Yeah, so that is going to go into my stock. I don't have a stash, I've got stock. Right. So let's go into the stock now, shall we? Let's go in. So I'm going to show you everything I've got. So you've already seen one jumper quantity, which was the pink. I've also got this, which is Cotton DK paint box. And this lovely, it's called Raspberry Pink. I don't think you can see the colour properly in this. doesn't look like a DK. Looks thinner. Yeah, so I I think I'd like to make a cotton cardigan with this. So there we are. So I've got enough to make two things, one jumper, one cardigan, and that's it. For big amounts. And then I've got enough here to make another blanket but I want this one to be a crochet ripple blanket so it's just an assortment of cotton and I'm gonna get when I start this one yes yeah, so I want to make a ripple crochet when I start this you can't see the colours properly can you I am gonna get probably some blue to go with it as well Let's see if I can get one of each of these colours out to show you I could eat this as well. Uh, last one. There. That's the colour that I want to do my Battenberg with. With the colour, with the bright colours. Yeah. So, yeah, this is going to be a crochet ripple blanket. And that's all I've got like in quantities to make a blanket. I don't think I've got that much of a stash stock as some people. I don't think it's too bad. And then I've got these two, three opals as well. So I've got this one, which is called, I don't know, I can't read the language. Oh, I don't know what it is, everybody. I've got a feeling it's got something about window. I'm sure it had something to do with a window. Anyway, I've got that one. And I've got that one, once again. Oh, hang on. Now, I don't know what it's called. That one, I think I'm going to give this one to James. And that one. That's ever so similar, isn't it, to my um, suffragette wool. So 
I've got that one. So these two are for me, that one's for James. So I've got four yolk opals. That's okay, that's lovely. Because I won't buy any more now until probably September. I'm just going to use all this. Now in this bag, this bag is from Jeanette. Bought it from her shop, who's Crafty Clegs. It's lovely, isn't it? I've got the stuff to make my Dolly Parton shawl. Now, I haven't started this yet because I want to make the Inklins shawl by Curious Handmade and it is a massive, big, circular, cobwebby shawl. And I can't, I haven't got anywhere to block it. It won't fit on the table. So this I'm going to make when the weather is very warm so that I can block it outside and it will block in the day. So that's what that's going to be. So that's enough for one shawl. I hope you don't mind me showing you all my stuff. I love other people's stuff. I'd love someone to show me all this. Lindsay the other day, she was saying something on her podcast, wasn't she? Show us your stash. Well, here you go. Lindsay, this is mine. I've got this as well from Kathy, my friend, from the What Not podcast. And I think I'm going to turn this into an Elton cardigan. But I've got to buy something to go with it. Because that I've already made one of those and that has got stripes um, with like a four ply held with it. Not held with it, held separately so that you get like a see through stripey cardigan. I'm going to use that for that, but I'm only going to do it on the body. I'm going to do um, plain sleeves. So that's what she sent me this for Christmas. It's a lovely colour, isn't it? I could eat this as well. Right, what else have we got? So I've got the stuff to finish off my temperature blanket here. And then, in this little bag here, this is from my friend Janine. She gave it to me for my birthday. I've got this um, lovely alpaca lace and I'm gonna make a shawl with this as well. Isn't it beautiful? I love that colour. So that's what that's that's going to be a shawl. I keep it in there because that's what Janine made me. Uh, let's have a look in this one, shall we? It's exciting. I'm going to close my eyes and just see what comes out. <gasps> Ooh. This is called Easter Egg Hunt by Mr B, the former Mr B. Now Bird Street Yarns. Oh, that's lovely. Easter egg hunt. That could make some nice Easter socks. What else? Oh, look at that. That is um, Stuart Yarns. That was their great Scottish playlist. Monthly club. Oh, isn't that pretty? Boy's peeped. Oh, lovely. This is from Suzanne from Great Green Lambkin Yarn. She gave me this for my birthday. Oh, look at that lovely sparkle. I think this is a Christmassy one. Fairy light glow. I love that. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, this is another present from my friend Janine. She gave me this. This was number 25 in the advent swap that we did. I absolutely love it. Look at it. It's called... Poppies, Mr. and Miss, Mrs. Rabbit. I've never used this before. Oh, look at the little bunny, like Mr. Bobkin. I love this. Oh, yeah, this is some Cascade Heritage. This is, I got this in a, um, I got this from eBay. And I'm saving, because this I think will be good with a shawl. Like those two together would make a lovely shawl, wouldn't they? So that will be used with something else. Maybe that. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? That beautiful shawl. Oh, that would make a lovely, um, what's that shawl? Siren song. Those two together. 
Oh yeah, I'll be the talk of the town. In that. Oh yeah, I think. Oh no, this is the barn owl one from Beaches and Birdsong. Isn't that lovely? This was a club as well. Platinum four ply. Ooh. This is from Janine as well. She dyed that for me. Some lovely sparkly, lovely stuff. I'd quite like to make myself a hat out of that. See, I've got plenty in stock. I don't need to buy any more. Right, so that's that bag empty. Oh, I'm going to have to put my head in it. In you go, my darlings. In you go. Your day will come sooner than you think. So that's all that. I'm going to put these two in as well. I've got this one here. I showed you this, I think, last time. It's called A Nice Bubble Bath, and that's by Mr B, which is now Bird Street. I've got this in a mystery box. Isn't it lovely? Oh. Make what I've cast on everything. And this one... I could actually put this in a bag to cast something on because I'm going to make the um, Pebble Beach Shore with this. This is a lace from Pixie Yarn and it's called Peas Blossom. And that is what I bought it for originally but I just haven't got round to it yet. So I'm going to keep this one out and I think I might cast that on. So that's one bag. I made this bag. This is a Tilda fabric called Lizzie. I've only got two more bags. Should we see what's in here? Oh yeah, I showed you this last time. This was from James for Christmas. Beaches and Birdsong. This has got bamboo in it. Isn't it lovely? I'd quite like to make some flurry socks with that one. Mm. This was my um, mystery New Year from Biff Sugar Yarns. Do you know what? I still haven't even um, asked I didn't even ask James for the Biff Sugar Yarns Valentine one because I just, I've got enough. You can see I've got enough. This was from James as well for my anniversary. Lust for Life from Beehive Yarns. This was a Ducky Darlings uh, club. I believe it's called Catfight and it's based on the book um, Smoke and Fluff. This is lovely, isn't it? This was from a D stash and it's called Marshmallows and I very nearly used this for my winter teddy bears but I didn't. This is from a D stash as well. I love this colour, Raspberry Special by Mr B or Bird Street Yarns. I love that colour. Do you? Oh I just love it. I can imagine what that would taste like. Slightly tart. Do you know what I mean? Like if you had like a uh, like a piece of vanilla cheesecake with a little bit of um what do people call it in the business is it shoe <laughs> i don't know but you know what i mean that really sharp sauce that's what that would taste like that would taste sweet but slightly burnt and this one's called Spearmint by Giddy Yarns. That would make a lovely pa pair of flurry socks as well, wouldn't it? And these, yeah, these all came from a D stash. Ooh. So I've got one more bag to show you. And then that's all my stuff. He's gone cold. Ooh, what's in here? Oh yeah, so this was the Biff Sugar Yarns Guy Fawkes Night Mystery. I didn't like it when I first opened it, but I absolutely love it now. Oh, I quite fancy casting that on. This was from James for Christmas. Beautiful. Look how sparkly it is. And then that's from Burrow and Saw. Oh, I love that. Do 
showed you this last time. This is my Beaches and Birdsong Robin sock set, which was a club. And then I've got my, James bought this for my birthday. It's called Flash Dance. Once again, Biff Sugar Yarns. And last but not least, I've got this, which was a present from my friend Kathy with a C, Kathy with a C. And she gave me this. This is um, Stranded Dye Works. I think it's called Gingerbread House. And I'm going to make my girls some Christmas socks for this. 45 minutes. Oh my goodness. So that's all my stuff. So as you can see, I do not need any more. And this is what I'm going to be knitting throughout the year. And it's very exciting. So whenever I fancy starting something new, I will just go to my little shop. It all hangs up. All the bags hang up together. Yes, yeah, so that's everything I've got. Look, that's not that bad, is it? It's not, there's nothing bad. It doesn't matter how much you've got. I don't think that's too much. That is my stock for 2021. Lovely. Right, what else can I show you? I've run on today, haven't I? Are you coming over, Doug? Yeah, here he comes. Come on up here. Come on. Come on. Here he comes. So, my next shop update will be Saturday the 13th of February at 6 p.m. and I have bought a collection of like the same but different fabrics. You know how Emma Bridgewater mugs? They're not the same but they go. I've done that with fabrics and I've just been I'll just show you a few things. Right, so these are some of the bags that I've made so far. Got that one. And that one. So they're all the same sort of fabrics. I need to give that a bit of an iron, don't I, Doug? There you go. I love these bags. But when I was making them, I was thinking, oh, I don't think anyone's going to like these. I don't know if they're too me for anyone to like them. So there'll be lots like that. There'll be some sock size bags as well. And also, there's going to be these three little babies here, these girls. They're just waiting for their jumpers and skirts but they will be dressed in the same colours um, as the bags in the um, green blue and pink colours so that'll be pretty yeah so what did I say the 13th of February at 6 p.m. so if you like those come and have a look roll up roll up now what else can we tell you about oh yeah so I've started to make some new animals, but I haven't got them to show you today because they're not quite ready. So I've started to make some spring lambs. So next time I come and see you, there'll be some nice spring lambs ready to go in my shop. I've been thinking about all sorts of different animals that I could make. Like I would like to make cats, but the problem is with cats, especially small cats, it's really hard to make the tails because they're so thin and hard to turn out. So if I do make cats, we're just going to have to pretend that their tails are tucked in their knickers, I'm afraid. Of course, Doug, you tuck your knickers in, uh, tuck your tail in, don't you, when you wear a skirt? <laughs> when you wear a skirt, when you wear trousers. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just try to think what else I can tell you about. So, we're all still at home, apart from James, he's out work which is good isn't it really just try to think if I've got any funny stories to tell you I've got a headache coming I've got something to tell you about you know I said well I don't know if any of you watched vlogmas but I had a one of the days I had a, a migraine I had to take one of my migraine tablets but I also started to wake up like in the mornings like every morning I was waking up with a headache and I mentioned it to James and he came home from town one day with a really really th firm pillow and since then I haven't woken up with a headache once we need to touch wood dog instantly oh he's doing it as well can you see he's doing it on the chair yeah do the chair as well yeah I can't believe how much of a difference it made 
so that was good. Uh, what else can I tell you about? Oh, who's this? Someone sent me a message. Uh, oh, I always forget to say thank you to everybody who bought one of my um, spring bunnies or something for my shop or watch anything. Can you, Dennis? And Lily and James should stop them from barking. That poor little aren't they, Den? Oh, Doug, they make such a noise. I know they're only trying to help. But I don't think the neighbours like us very much. I'm sure they will talk about us. But they're only trying to help, aren't they, Doug? He goes and sits with one of our neighbours, don't you, in the summer. Round next door, he's got a chair and everything that he goes and sits on. He, um, I think I've told you before, he becomes a street cat in the summer. You know he ended up in the vets because people thought he was stray last year when we were on holiday. Yeah, and he goes to the flats and he sit, when he sits in a window this time of the year, the kids from the flats walk past and go, Doug, <laughs> they all know him because I come and get you home, don't I? And, He's a little monkey. I bring him in round the front to come home and then he'll go right back, round the back, over the fence. He's just back there. He even had a tent there one year. They bought you a tent, didn't they? And they started feeding him and I um, went round there. I told a little bit of a lie. I told them that he had a sensitive stomach and they weren't to feed him anymore. But really I just didn't want them to feed him. It's my cat. And the more you feed them, they just keep going back, don't they, cats? They don't go out this time of year. And actually, I think that that trip to the vets did scare him. How's he ending up round there, eh? My mum had only seen him that morning. You ended up in the vets in a prison, didn't you, poor little thing? What else? Oh, yeah, I'm still doing Slim and Wild. I've, um... I've got my half a stone award. I've lost eight and a half pounds so far. I do feel better. I do feel better. I didn't tell you this, but over Vlogmas, you know what I did one day? So, you know I'd already eaten one block of marzipan. James bought me... Whenever James goes shopping, if he's not sure about something, he will buy every version of the thing you've asked him to get. So he came home I said, James, can you get me some more marzipan, please? And he brought me home a golden one and then the white one. I used the golden one on the cake because I like to cut into a Christmas cake and see that lovely yellow line. I think it's more Christmassy. So I had that white one left and I ate it like a Mars bar. <laughs> a whole block of marzipan. Just ate it like a bar of, like a, yeah, like a Mars bar. We do our meetings, um, like I do, if I was just doing it myself online, I don't, I don't think I'll stick to it. I think for me, I need to go to someone every week and say, yeah, I've done this. Like last week I made James, because, oh, he was 40 last week. I made him a birthday cake and he loves coffee cake. I made him a coffee cake and I made coffee butter icing, which is one of my favourite things in the world. And I got a silicon spatula and I scraped that bowl so clean for the butter icing I could have put it back in the cupboard and no one would have known that it had ever been used. So I had to confess that to everybody in the group. But um, James was sitting in the room with me one night and he, he heard someone go, bacon. <laughs> And he couldn't stop laughing, so I had to chuck him out, so he's not allowed to sit with me anymore when I'm doing it. So silly. Uh, yeah, so that's going well. I signed up for 12 weeks, and I think I'm now in the fourth or something like that. It does make me eat better, better food, definitely. Uh, what else have we got to report? I think I told you Johnny wasn't doing his homework, but he is now. Lizzie, she... The school let her have a laptop because she was a pain with her phone. It was straight on TikTok if I took my eye off her for one minute, so that wasn't very good. 
And then, what about little Mabel? She's doing really well. She works so well by herself. Uh, guinea pigs, have we got anything to take? Yeah, someone recommended some heated beds, so they've got heated beds now. And they love them. And at the minute, because they like different houses, they're living in an Emma Bridgewater box. <laughs> And it says there's no place like home. No, what's it say? Feels like home, feels like home. Yep, that's where they're living at the moment. Um, for James's 40th birthday. Oh yeah, this shows my dedication. We had Nando's and I bought, well I got um, chicken breast, I took the skin off. I had sweet corn, broccoli, salad and peas with it. No chips or coleslaw. I didn't even have the rice. It was lovely though. It was just as nice. But what I do, I shouldn't do this, and I have not confessed this to my Southern Wild Lady either, but um, I have six days of completely sticking to it, completely to the letter. And on the day I weigh, I weigh in on the morning, and then I'll just have a normal day. So I'll eat. I just love shreddies. I have shreddies for my breakfast. I could have those anyway, but I don't. I have shreddies for breakfast and then I have my favourite. Marmalade on toast, white toast for my dinner. And then I have takeaway for tea. And I've still managed to lose weight every week doing that, but I haven't told them. So don't tell them. Um, not that you would, or not that you'd even care to. But I'll tell you what I'm worried about though. So we have to weigh in once a week and then like, put our weight on the, the app but I'm worried when we start going to the class we're gonna have to do it on the scales in our clothes and I've been doing mine like in the morning with a completely empty stomach after a big wee naked so when I have to go back like when I have to do it like going out they're going to think I've put on like half stone. Unless I do it, no, I can't do it naked in the in the church hall. Can't do that, Lillian. Um, Doka, can we call you so warm? What other news have I got? Oh, my nan, she's had her COVID vaccine. She's had both doses, acting very, very cocky about it as well. Yeah, she's one of the most important people in the world because she's had hers and other people who she knows. They haven't had theirs, so they can't be as important as she is. Yeah, so she's showing off about that. I want my mum to have hers. And my dad. My dad's really overweight, and my mum has to take uh, methotrexate, which is a form of chemotherapy for her rheumatoid arthritis. So I wish she would get hers. What else, Doug? What is the other news? Pam has taken to Lizzie. She starts to sleep on her bed the whole time. She went through a spell of sleeping like in the front room of us for a little while. She's getting so big. Um, I'm trying to think what else I could tell you about. Oh, sirens, Doug. Oh, they're coming down the road. Hang on. Ooh. Oh, I'm desperate to go and check. I have to ask James where it went in a minute. Uh, I'll get that from my family. They do stuff like that. Um, I went out for the first time since... Uh, the start of December. The last time I went out was when I did Vlogmas and I think I uh, recorded going and I just went to Sainsbury's because it was James's birthday the next day and I wanted to get him some treats and all I come back was with a, a fudge yoghurt <laughs> for him um, and I bought some tulips. I bought three bunches. I've got two bunches in here. And I said to James, you've got no idea just how much joy that brings me, just having a few tulips in the house. I just love, 
love them. Hopefully I'll get some of those for Valentine's Day. I'm hungry now. I might have to go and have a, um, I don't know, apple. <laughs> right, I think this is going to be it. So, oh, have I forgotten anything? So I've shown you everything I own in the way of wool, haven't I? Everything. I weren't going to show you this one. I was going to hide it, but I thought, no, be honest. It doesn't matter, Paula. It's all going to be used. And it is all going to be used. I'd like to come back to you in, we'll say two weeks today, with a finished blanket and a finished pair of socks for James and a partially finished um, temperature blanket. So I'm going, to, I'm going to do that. I'm going to be back two weeks today. And I'm also going to have some spring lambs to show you from my shop. Oh, yeah. So thank you for watching. Thank you for... I've got a lot, a lot of people liked this, the picture of me wearing this that I put on Instagram yesterday. Ow. Um, it's the first time I think I've ever posted a selfie. I did feel a bit daft. Uh, yeah, yes, thank you for watching. Thank you if you've bought anything from my shop or adopted a bunny. They're well on the way, my spring bunnies. Um... Oh, here they go again with the barking. Dog's off. And um, I'll see you in a couple of weeks' time. I'm now going to share the video of my um, winter polar bears. They've all arrived very safely in their homes. And it's just a video of a very 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 scruffy looking Paula you'll see what I mean not that this one looks too clever that you've got with you today I need a haircut I've charged up James's um, hair trimmers to give me a nice little bob and oh yeah and I've got a video of me trying to jump over a puddle I don't know why but some people might like it yeah so if you fancy a little bag my shop hate update is on the 13th of February at 6 p.m. so a week today oh Doug you're so beautiful I do I nearly bought him a cat donut like one of those donut beds to lay in but he goes off stuff so quickly he's like Lizzie Lizzie goes off stuff so quickly as well but it's not worth the investment he like sleeps in old awful things really and if you saw him, you'd feel sorry for him, but he's got good stuff. Like that radiator bed is still sitting there. I keep putting Kim in it, but she, as soon as she gets in it, she jumps out. I'm going to go and do some knitting. Right, I'll see you in about two weeks' time with a finished blanket. Just you wait. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hello, everyone. Paula of the past in a jumble with a crease down the front. This is the only pink one that I could find because I wanted it to match my bears. So here they are, these are my winter bears, they're all polar bears and I'm not going to lie, they're a nightmare. They're naughty, Can you, you know the normal bears that I make, they all stand in lines don't they? I'm going to sit like this to cover up the crease. Um, they won't, so they're all over the place. So shall I get one down to show you? Now who looks like they're going to behave? Mm. Let's see. You look alright. Come on. Then again, you're in the top of the teapot. So here you go. Now, if you've had one of my bears before, you'll probably notice that these ones are a little bit smaller and I wanted them to be tiny. Another thing you might notice is that they're fluffy. Right, so let's tell you about what I used. So I used some lovely fluffy fabric. They've got Tilda skirts and Tilda knickers and some lovely fabric that I've had for a while that I've been saving, I shouldn't save stuff, but I've been saving it for something special. I'm glad I, I did. And they've got little hearts, little heart stickers on their knickers, stickers, buttons, and their jumpers, can you see? They are made from this 
I should have thought more when I took the band off. Woolly Goodness Yarns in the colour Dawn. And I bought this and as soon as it arrived I thought, yep, yeah, that's what I'm going to make the polar bears jumpers with. Because it would have been very easy to go down, like with winter theme, to go down the turquoisey route. But I thought that would be a bit obvious. So I decided to go for this. So I thought that this fabric here for the skirts, I think I've got a bit here actually. You see how lovely it is? I thought that was quite wintry. So I used that for the skirts. And then on their little jumpers, you see, they've got a little snowflake sequin that I've stitched on. Right, would you like to go back up and stand with your friends? Back in the teapot. They do actually look quite nice up there. I quite like them to stay. But they're going to be posted off today. Look at that crease. Right, so their names are Elsa, Snowflake, Frosty, Snowdrop, Sugar, Glitter, Twinkle, Snowy, Sophia, Amelia, Eleanor, or Ellie for short, Eliza, Eva, Sadie, Grace, Victoria, Charlotte, Mia, Ella, and Olivia. Yeah, I don't know what else I can tell you about them. So, I well, I wanted them to look wintry, and I said powdery florals, which is what I think that they are. They're all different. Let me show you. Let me show you two. So, if we look at this one, you're one of my favourites, aren't you? And this one, they're the same sort of height. But I think you can see they've both got different personalities. This one's one of my favourites. I shouldn't have favourites. Can you see? And also they're slightly different heights. They're all their little heads are at different angles. Let me see if I could show you another one. You're not going to stand up now, are you? You have to stand in the teacups. Let's have a look at this one. And you've already had you. What about you? Yeah, look different faces, different shaped heads, because they're all made completely individually, to the same sort of height and everything. The jumpers are all knitted with the same pattern that I made up. And I had them in a box, which has had a fragrant sachet in it, called Shimmering Snowberry. Ooh. So when you get them, they should smell quite nice as well. Hello. Hello. Oh, you've got a deep voice. I wasn't expecting that. Yes, I think that's all I've got to tell you about. So next, what have we got coming up? The spring. I don't know if to do bears or bunnies because, well, anyway, I'll talk about that another time. But yeah, I hope you like them and I hope if you ordered one, you like them and I hope that they behave once they've all been separated because they've not been well behaved at all. But never mind, children are allowed to play up a little bit over Christmas, aren't they? Oh, what I should say is I made these all throughout December. And I think one of the reasons that I'm so fond of them is that I, um, I made them, sewed them together whilst I've been watching Christmas films and just having the best time. So yeah, they've got lots and lots of happy stitches in them. So hopefully they'll bring some happiness to the little houses that they come and live in. Or big houses, I don't know. Yeah, but I've got that left over. And this is, it is pink, but it's also got tiny little specks of blue and cream in it as well. And a little bit of grey. And I just thought that that went... Look, so here's some of the knicker fabric. This is the um, skirt fabric and that's the wool. So I thought they went really nicely together. I hope you do too. Right, I'm off. I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.
No one can do it, it's miles. At least it will have dried up by the time she jumps this.